Hello and good morning. It's Technique Tuesday. Okay, so today's the technique tip is all about an old chestnut really. It's still about this question of, of the intake of air, how we allow air in. And I've taken a quotation from this lovely book that I've already mentioned to you, Unlocking Your Voice by Esther Salomon, because I've owned this book for a long time and it's only really now, after all those years of, of going and learning myself, that I fully understand what she's talking about. And I think this is a very worthwhile sharing on a basic level for all singers. So I'm as guilty as anybody else of forgetting some of these really basic issues. Okay, so just let me read it to you. She says in her book here, right at the beginning, Every intake of breath is another chance to get together our alignment of energy. Think of the breath intake as the opening of the throat in readjusting to sing as one gesture. As you think to take the breath in or allow the air in to sing, it's one gesture. Okay, now in her lovely book, she talks a little bit about one of the things we tried on Saturday morning, which was this idea of doing the high-pitched kind of ah, ah, ah sounds, okay? And when we did that, in the live warm-up, Sophie mentioned that she could feel her lower abdominal muscles really working. Okay, and here's what Esther Salomon has to say in her book. And she says about an exercise like this. She says, I am... I hope the lowest muscles of your stomach, right down near the pelvic bone and groin area, jump slightly to attention, buoyantly supporting your utterance. Put a hand there and feel it happen. These are your support muscles coming to your aid, muscles which you need as allies through all your singing and your speaking life. Now, I just want to pause there because, of course, the other thing I was encouraging you to do on Saturday was to watch that video, the 12-minute video of David Harper talking in that workshop video. And he starts to talk about this idea of being more declamatory in the way in which we speak, owning the process, not climbing out of our speaking voice. And this applies to basically everybody. I have the problem. I have the problem with being too placatory, um, but I can hear also that um, the link between how we speak and how we sing and how important it is to kind of marry the two so that I, you could practice this at home for example, you could try just speaking the words of your song and then suddenly as you're speaking start to sing it instead and feel that it's the same process as it is just for when you sing as when you speak it's the same preparation okay now she talks here too about this being the root of your alignment of energy which is where my today's technique tip comes in these muscles that we were talking about on saturday and that little ah ah exercise form the basis of what she's calling the alignment of our energy and uh, she says it's by means of a kind of muscular chain reaction they keep your air pressure steady and your diaphragm and rib cage buoyant and your tail muscles should be tucked in and that's where we talk about um, in terms of posture you don't want your bottom to be sticking out that's why I often do my videos sitting down because then I don't have to think about my problem <laughs> okay so you can see what I'm trying to encourage you is to have a very holistic approach and idea about the tiny fragments of time that you have during your week in focusing on your whatever it is you're looking at in your vocal warm-up. It's never a done deal. There's always work to do. It's never a question of thinking, I think I've got that now. It isn't. It's you've got to rework it because like the infographic that I shared 10 days ago about neuroplasticity, it's only by reworking these things that we can change the chemical reactions in our brain that create structure and where neurons actually start to talk more to each other so that it becomes a more of a function. So you have three stages of learning, the chemical, the structure and then the function of how we're learning. And it's really from starting to learn 
and we're all the same, you want to get to the point where you are now able to function as a singer, open your mouth and just sing. That's the holy grail, there's many of them, and, and there's so much in today's vocal technique tip of the day, and you are getting the benefit of, you know, getting in the larger picture, and I encourage you to always think outside the box, think more about your reactions, how you get the breath in, do I stiffen my jaw? Do my shoulders keep coming up? What am I doing? How am I getting that feel? Okay, so uh, in my posting I used, I like words, as you might notice, I used two words. I used elusive and elusive. Now they, they both kind of mean the same. One means it's hiding and one means you can't quite attain it. Now this idea of learning how to sing um, technique, vocal technique, that's it's like an elusive, elusive notion. And the more you think about it, the more you go into it and create those little pathways in your brain, the better you'll get at it. I can guarantee it. Okay? So that's technique tip for today. Happy singing and more from me soon. Bye for now.